get out of here with all this thing's been going on overnight and so far it's pretty damn accurate. This thing's working quite well. Noisy though, but it works. Yeah. It's eleven o'clock AM. Works very well this one. Here was a look at the Mormometer um, stash that I haven't uh, seen yet. And at last, they got some MM2000s. It's exactly the model we had in our power box before um, they put the smart meter in. Been after these um, MM2000s for ages. I've got about five of these. This is the um, newest one. The rest are all dated 1998. This is dated 2001, but it's only a couple of years old. It doesn't matter. Two load wheels, made in Greece by Siemens. That's when they made after Sie uh, Siemens brought them out. So, still a pretty good quality of meter. Uh, let's see, 12,494, 40,935. 20, 20 to 120 amp, MM2600 XDF6, 3 times 240 volt, 37.5 kilowatt hour, 50 hertz. Exactly the same specs and everything as our old one. And I got the time switch, the, the WF3012 switches, which is with a that one there we had with it, so I've got a sample of exactly what we had in our meter box. Sweet. Just that one I'll cover off. There we are, let's uh, wire this out and give it a test. It's got a lot more, um, it's a lot more uh, Cheaply built than the earlier um, ML, uh, the ML T62s and 240s, but still pretty good quality. There's a the potential in there, it's obviously direct wide, not, not CT. There's a bit of a buff, a bit of a scratch, but it will come up nice. Beautiful. All right, let's give this thing a test. Okay, the MM2000 on its mark. There's lots of glare. Let's get this door closed, though. Alright, the readouts on these meters are on their mark, both numbers, digits are on their mark. So that's on its mark and that's on its mark. Let's give it a test. Power's already turned on. These smoky green wires need to be changed I think. I'm going to take it easy on these. Let's see, huh? we got about 50 amps. 50 amps will do, that's a safe limit. And there we are, both are going. I'll adjust the camera actually so you can get a good view here. Let's get that adjusted. Yep, they're both spinning their load balls quite nicely. Nice chewet, as Brian would say. And they have a light on, I think. Yeah, the glare is just a pain in the ass. It's a problem here. Too much glare, too much glare. But you can see them spinning. Hear that timer switch ticking in the background. It's 37.5 per kilowatt and it's 66.6. So one's a little bit slower than the other, but they'll still, they'll still sync up. Let's see. Yep, a bit hard to see in this one because the, the uh, increments are a lot smaller, but it's um, advanced exactly the same as the MR one. And there's no doubt this is going to be accurate. That's one tenth of a kilowatt hour so far. Yep, one tenth of a kilowatt hour as well in that one. They're in good synchronization.
This brings back memories watching this meter spin. I used to watch the one on, uh, in our the one we had before our smart motor was installed. I used to love watching that one air spin. Very an awesome art instrument. Yep, so far so good. I didn't bother hooking the uh, rate change up, so... If it's accurate on this side, they'll be accurate in the other rate. Not bad, that's a one tenth of it, yeah. It's accurate. We know it's accurate. They're both advanced the same. Yeah. This test could go all day. Anyway, let's see what the current is. This is a lag. As the wires would have warmed up, we'll see what the current is. Yep, 48.7, 28.62, the series wire. So, yeah, it costed 50 amp going through that meter. That's about how fast that meter, that meter would have spun. When we had an irrigation pump going, pull them about 30 to 40 amps. That's how fast it used to spin. That's bringing back some memories. Anyway, we'll get the uh, load wheel on the marker, we'll shut it down. And then if the next, uh, ready for the next minute to test. Here we are, power off. Unplug safety first. Let's uh, give it a bit of a buff. Got some scuffs, I've got to um, clean off that. And this one's pretty much good to go. All oh, nice and buffed up. The scuffs came out. That looks much better. Looking good. Finally got the meter I wanted to. We had in our meter box. An MM2000. MM Very good quality meters. Make a lot of backing. The camera handle usually goes there. Hooks it upside down. There's two ways you can have it. You have it the other way. Stick, stick out. Or have it discreetly hidden like that. Upside down. It's got some... Uh, plastic terminal box over here. Still a very, very, very good quality meter. LNG, original seals too by the looks of it. LNG, lettuce and guire seals, original from the factory. There you are, this thing's never been refurbished. Hence there's no uh, refurbishment sticker on there. 40,936 40, on that one. 12,493 and a half on that one. So it doesn't really, hasn't really done much, that much um, work for this type of meter, so still bloody. Got plenty of life left in it. And there's a patterns on those load wheels. Real nice. Anyway, there's the specs again. Three times 240 volt, 37 and a half SV kilowatt hour, 20 base load, 120 at maximum load. 50 hertz made in 1999. Three phase, four wire. MM2000. Then it's got MM2600.XDF6. Uh, then that's the actual model, and this is a Siemens, uh, Siemens branding. That's the actual model there. Might be a revised model. So it's, this, is prob this, this uh, model here is exactly what this meter is, which is probably an upgraded version of the uh, previous model, the 2600XDF6, which I got in the collection. So that's the actual model there. The next model up from this one. Even though it probably technically is the same thing, but that's really what the model is there. Built by Siemens. For Lettuce and Gaia, because they um, bought out Lettuce and Gaia. Their parent company is now Toshiba, making the uh, smart meters. Anyway, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching.